Did you know that your iPhone is tracking what you do and even listening in without you realizing it? How do you explain the mysterious yoga classes that get recommended to you while you were just casually talking about it over dinner with your friends? Or that Turkish restaurant Google ad pops up when Dad just mentioned he felt like eating Turkish food on his birthday? Don't worry, there's a simple fix. Because in today's video, I'll show you why you should take control of your privacy and the exact settings you need to turn off right now to stop your iPhone from tracking and listening to you. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Steph and in this channel, I teach you quick daily tech tips that make your life a little easier. On your iPhone, tap on settings. Scroll down and tap on privacy and security. First, we're going to talk about location services. So as we scroll down, you can see the apps that we have assigned the settings to. For example, Agoda. I've only set it to allow location access only while using the app. I can set it to never, ask next time or always. The grey arrow icon indicates that this app has accessed my location within the last 24 hours and a purple arrow icon indicates that it has recently used my location. Scroll down and see what apps you deem to be necessary and change the settings accordingly. I see that WhatsApp has been set to always allow location services. I will also change it to only when using. Next. Scroll down and see system services. It seems that all the options are toggled on. Well, I don't see a need for Apple Pay merchant identification to assess my location, so I will toggle this off. The arrows are actually a good indicator of which apps have accessed your location recently, so turn off those that you deem unnecessary. Then, tap on significant locations and routes. So Apple has records of the places that you have been to, your home records and all. To me, this is pretty intrusive and you should clear the history and turn this setting off. Tap on back. Under product improvement, most of these settings are actually turned on for Apple Maps. For me, I use Google Maps all the time. I hardly use Apple Maps. So I strongly recommend turning this off if you don't use Apple Maps. Next, we go back to privacy and security. Tap on tracking. If this option is turned on, it allows apps to ask to track your activities across other companies, apps, and websites. This basically means that whatever you are surfing on the internet, Apple takes that information and can sell this information to other companies which can in turn sell you products or services by placing advertisements when you are using, say, Google or just browsing the internet. For this, I strongly recommend turning this off immediately. Then we go back to privacy and security. Scroll down and you can see analytics and improvements. Make sure all of the options are turned off because you can see under analytics data, there's actually a bunch of gibberish information that you tap on it and all are just codes. And to me, this is pretty scary. And because this whole section is labeled under analytics and improvements, this means that they are more of a user feedback and not important to how your phone will function. Again, for this, I will strongly recommend turning these options off to protect your privacy and security. Then go back and tap on Apple Advertising. Again, this is targeted and personalized ads by Apple if you allow them to use this data. And how do they collect personalized ads? Yes, by collecting all your personal data as you surf the internet, browse shopping websites, or even just looking at certain pictures or videos. And to me, this is absolutely creepy. I would highly recommend turning this off. With all that said and done, we have just seen all the settings that Apple has input into our iPhones. Yes, I do admit that some of these settings improve our lives by collecting data, but we will never know what else they collect or listen to through our phones, which we carry with us 
almost all the time and even lying beside us when we sleep at night. I hope that with these settings turned off, you can have a better peace of mind using your phone without your privacy being intruded. There you go. If you found today's video useful, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more useful videos like this. Until the next video, I'm Steph. Take care and bye-bye.